So let's look at the following example that will deal with electric power output. So an electric company delivers 800 kilowatts of power at a voltage difference of 10,000 volts to a building via wires that have a resistance of 5 ohms. In part A, we want to calculate the quantity of energy that is delivered into our wire every single second. So it's basically given by this quantity. So we know power is the rate of change of our energy. So it's the change in energy divided by change in time, where the time is given in seconds and our energy is given in joules. So 800 kilowatts is equal to 800,000 joules per second. So that means 800,000 joules are delivered into our wire every single second. Now, if we are asked to calculate how much energy is delivered to our building, it's not actually this quantity because some of that energy is wasted as a result of the resistance in our wire, which has a resistance of 5 ohms. So a little bit less of this quantity of energy will be delivered to our building. So let's move on to part B. Calculate the electric current in our wire when our voltage is 10,000 volts. So we know the general equation for power is given by this equation. Power is equal to the product of the electric current and the voltage. So we know what the power is, we know what the voltage is. We can rearrange and solve for our electric current. So the electric current is equal to the power divided by the voltage or equivalently 800,000 uh, watts divided by our 10,000 volts and that gives us 80 amps. So this is our electric current in our wire. Now in part C we want to essentially figure out how much less power is used up if the voltage is 20,000 volts. So by used up power we essentially mean how much power is used up by our resistor. So this resistor because it has a 5 ohm resistance, the wire has a 5 ohm resistance, it will use up a certain quantity of this energy. We want to calculate how much less energy is used up when our voltage is 20,000 volts. So first we want to calculate what the electric current is when the voltage is this quantity. So we follow these same steps. So the power is equal to I times V, I is equal to P divided by V, and I is equal to 800,000 watts divided by 20,000 volts. And that gives us an electric current of 40 amps. So in the case when our voltage is 10,000 volts, the electric current is 80 amps and when our voltage is 20,000 volts, our electric current is 40 amps. So now we essentially want to calculate how much power is used up when we have this electric current and when we have this electric current. So let's use this equation. This equation gives us the power usage of our resistor in terms of our electric current and our resistance. So notice our resistance remains the same. So that basically means our R in both cases will be exactly the same. Now in this case the power is equal to 40 amps squared multiplied by 5 ohms and that gives us 8,000 watts. So in the case when our uh, electric current is 40 amps, our resistor, our wire uses up this quantity of power. Now how about when our electric current is 80 amps? For this case it's 80 squared multiplied by 5 gives us 32,000 watts. So in the case when our voltage is 10,000, our electric current is 80 amps and the power usage is 32,000 watts. So to find how much less power is used up if the voltage is this amount, we simply take 32,000 watts, subtract 8,000 watts, and that gives us a difference of 24,000 watts.